We are at Antihito's here on City Walk. We are heading to table 17. And they have started us off with some fresh chips and salsa. So we are getting the table side guacamole. Nothing hot. I don't know what's hot there. So. All right. Few moments later. Thank you so much. What'd you get? It's basically an espresso with uh, milk and sugar. Nice. We'll test drive it. Tell me what you think. I think I need to start making these at home again. How about test drive it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that tastes like what Joe always made at home, so that's pretty good. But I don't want that because I have to get on a plane incredibly early in the morning, so I want to make sure I sleep tonight. Because me without sleep, that means cranky. So I'm going to test drive this guac. This is the table side guac. Let me move it over here. Got me a piece of chip. Got to make it dramatic. Oh my god that's not like any guac I've ever had that's for sure that is good that is so good that needs to be on your must-do list I don't remember what the cost was on that like 10 or 12 bucks something like that Super good. I mean, literally, you tell them do you like it spicy or not, and she makes it right there in front of your eyes. Man, that's delicious. Joe got the mole enchilada. I'm going to have to bring up the menu so I can totally read it. Make sure that I give everybody a good description. I had the shrimp burrito, and then I got some black beans on the side, a little bit of guac. It's covered in queso, and then I asked for a side of plantains and a side of sour cream. Gary got the chicken, chicken chimichanga and it's covered in, is it called verde sauce? Yeah. I'm definitely going to have to bring up all of the menus on this. But, oh man, this looks good. Alright Gary, tell me what you think about it. That uh, chicken shrimp chimichanga. Ooh, I can't even yeah. talk. Very, very good. Yeah? Uh, not real spicy. Not spicy? Not really. Okay. But I just put some sauce in there. So. You said it was loaded so with some cheese. Lots of cheese. <laughs> yeah. Just dripping with cheese. Looks like it's got spaghetti in there. <laughs> what is that? That's the way it is, I mean. <laughs> gotta find a way to attack it. Well, just attack it. Go for it. Don't be afraid. But you're liking it? Mm -hmm. Alright. Especially with this. And Joe, you got the mole beef. Mole enchilada. Mole enchilada. Mole, uh, mildly spiced beef. Okay. Apparently, uh, a crumbled queso cheese on the top, lettuce, sour cream. Uh, the beans and rice is kind of medium heat. Okay. So if you like mild heat, it's not going to be mild. Okay. <laughs> it's also not going to be burn your face off on it. Not All right. And the mole sauce, I like it really well. It's got a bit of a chocolate base to it, but not overly chocolate. So I totally recommend it. I had a little bit of his 
mole enchilada. Is that what it's called? Why can't I remember that? It's the melody setting in. But I had a little bit of it. I can honestly say that the inside of it, that meat and flavor is superior. I did not like the shells on his at all. Uh, mine has the soft shell on it, but because it's a burrito and not a chimichanga, they wouldn't fry it. I would have rather had fried, but they won't do that for that, So, and I didn't want chicken. But it's super good, and it's got like a cilantro rice inside, super good, a lot of queso, a bunch of, I wouldn't say like full-size shrimp, it looks like cut up shrimp that's inside of there. Super flavorful, I mean, really good. I'm not overly fond of the shell because it's not fried, but the rest of it is phenomenal. I'd definitely get that one again for sure. For dessert, I am going to have the seasonal flan is what it's called, $7.95. It says sweet potato infused flan, torched marshmallow fluff, caramel, and crisp autumn leaf. And I think that's a cookie, isn't it? I'm not sure. I think she said there's like maple syrup on the side or something. And I said to her, I'm like, you know, I like sweet potatoes and I like flan, but I don't know that the two sound good together. And she said she felt the same way, but when she tried it, it's absolutely amazing and people love it. So I'm game. I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. Two very boring minutes later. My sweet potato flan has arrived and it's got some toasted marshmallow on the side and then it's got syrup around it and a little bit of dollop of whipped cream. But I'm going to give that a try. She said that she brought three spoons. She doesn't know me. I might be nice and let the guys try it, but I don't want to, but I might anyway. It kind of looks like the inside of pumpkin pie without the shell, so I'm going to see what it tastes like. All right, let's give this a shot. It seriously looks like pumpkin pie without the shell. If I hurl, you'll be the first to know. It tastes like pumpkin pie. Well, it kind of tastes like sweet potato pie without the shell. It's good. It's definitely thicker than flan. She said it was soft and creamy like flan. It just reminds me of sweet potato pie, which I absolutely love. So yeah, this is a do it again. All right, Gary, tell me what you think. What do you think? That's dang good, man. Pumpkin, pumpkin. <laughs> no, it's sweet potato. No, it's sweet potato. But it tastes like sweet potato pie, doesn't it? Without the crust. That is good. When I read it, I thought that sounds nasty as hell. But that is good. I ain't gonna lie. I'd tell you if I hated it. All right, Joe, you want to taste it? <laughs> it does taste like sweet potato pie. That is yeah, dang it's good. Really it is good. I seriously thought it sounded so bad. Uh oh, I got marshmallow mm -hmm. on my finger. That's dang good. If you're here at Antiquitos on City Walk, that one is a dessert worth trying. Super good. Doesn't sound good. That's super good. So definitely give it a try. A little longer than a few minutes later. The final bill here at Antiquitos, after the $15.03 discount for being Premier Pass holder, was $90.69. And then, of course, the tip added to that. Make sure if you have an annual pass, don't forget to rock that annual pass. I preach it all the time. But $15.03 saved on just this one meal. And guaranteed, if you're here at Universal, you're going to have more than one expensive meal because that's just the nature of the beast. But $90.69 after we saved the $15.03 plus, uh, plus a tip. Don't forget to give your server a good tip because they work their asses off to make your vacation amazing. And Tahitos here at CityWalk.
Universal Orlando. If you are new to this channel, please hit that like and subscribe and ring bell notification so you don't miss out on the latest and greatest. Also, please don't forget to check out some of our other great videos we have on the parks, the rides, resorts, resort rooms, Skyliner rides, day trips, car shows, outdoor pizza oven videos, Universal Studios, Islands of Adventure, and Disney World. Thank you so much for watching.